Hello, this is Mike, nostressmike.com. And uh, I want to, <laughs> uh, I tell you, uh, all this racial talk is just, I, uh, I find it really confusing. There's so much misinformation that, that, you know, it's hard for me to believe how stupid people can be. And uh, so what I want to talk about is slavery. And the, the thing is, I blacks are thinking slavery is about blacks. Um, and what gets me is now we're seeing uh, like this Black Lives Matter a terrorist criminal organization has, has got followers that don't think. And um, what it is uh, have you ever heard of the Dark Ages? Now, remember, I'm a dyslexic, so I don't read well. So maybe I made a mistake. And so I, I suggest you check it out for yourself. But uh, the Dark Ages was in general what made it dark was uh, uh, that was a time when white Christians were used as slaves uh in North Africa. At that time, North Africa was real um, productive, I guess you'd say. And uh, what happened, uh, Muslims took over a lot of the civilized world. And when Muslims took over, they brought in a lot of um, new ideas and inventions and stuff like that and it was it was pretty interesting and um, but one of the things that they did is uh, they're Muslim and so they used Christians in which were mainly European Christians white and used them for slaves. Uh, they would kidnap them. And uh, then when they'd kidnap them, they would uh, uh, take them to wherever they're gonna take them and, and sell them. And now, unlike black slavery, black slavery, they bought, they bought, Slaves, black slaves. They bought them, so they are property, and you kind of take care of your property. And you hear all these horror stories about how terrible the blacks were taken care of, as they were shipping them over here and over there and all that. Okay, well, that was nothing compared. Because I mean, just think, if you've got, you bought uh, a ship load of black slaves and you're going to sell them to make a profit you don't want them dying off and so uh, you kind of maintain them you take care of them okay the ones that they kidnap they don't they didn't pay anything for them so they just threw them in the hall of the ship and just ship them wherever they're going to ship them. 
and then they get them there and then they sell them. If they lose 20%, 50%, they lose them. Uh, and there was many times they would lose that much, if not more. And they would load up the hall with them. I mean, they would stack them in. I mean, they would be on top of each other, these white Christian slaves. And this is what's, what was referred to, or what was going on during the Dark Ages. And uh, I'm, I'm sure there was slavery even before that. So, uh, and all the slavery that the blacks are concerned about, I think kind of about maybe 1500 or 1600 is what they're, they're talking about. That's when it started, it was running around like that. But, but I say it was, slavery was way earlier than that and far more. There was total, a, a town, a complete town of white Christians would be uh, kidnapped and hauled off. And I know one town was 5,000. 5,000 white Christians, they just got them all. And they would uh, uh, castrate young boys and men. And because they, uh, I don't even know why. I can't remember why. But anyway, uh, they were brutal to them. Very brutal. Uh, so, anyway, <laughs> the, the main reason I brought this up is all this slavery talk. You know, and all this reminds them um, of slavery. This reminds them of slavery. You know, it, it it's come to my conclusion that these people are really, they're not thinking. And they're living in the past. Maybe that's why uh, people that have uh, that type of a problem, uh, slavery and all this kind of stuff, maybe it's their attitude. Just maybe. This, maybe this is something you need to think about. This might. No stress might. Not calm.